Amen. Amen. A young prophet has spoken this morning. Amen. Yeah. Thank God the light shines bright in Phoenix. Amen. And we have air conditioning. Amen. Amen. Right now I want to invite up some very special people. We are going to send off our dear sister Jasmine. Uh, she shared for communion today, and I just want to say, I'll never forget the first day I met Jasmine. She came to a church service much like this, and she introduced herself as, her, uh, as Marla's daughter, and immediately Amy and I saw something very special in her. We, we, we saw something very special, a real joy, a light, um, just, just something very special. And, and it just so happened that we had scholarship someone to go to the Global Leadership Conference that year, but they had moved on, and so we had this extra scholarship, and the first thing I thought was, this is our first day at church, but let's get it to the Global Leadership Conference. Oh, wow. And so we met with her afterwards. I said, you know what? You need to come. You need to meet the teens. You need to see how amazing God is. And to see her dream, and to get excited, and to see her fight for her dream, and win her dream back, and the battle she fought, I am uh, very grateful and honored that we can send such a jewel uh, to, to, to the West region and, and support what God is doing all over the nations. Amen. And there's a few others who'd like to share, uh, namely her father, and then we're going to say a prayer together as a family and then send her off properly after she says a few words. Amen. Good morning. Is it still morning? <laughs> Can I share a little bit? Yeah. A little bit. Um, it's my daughter Jasmine. Uh, my son, he's out there. And Jasmine's mom is also out there. And um, let's see, about two years ago, um, I walked away from my family. And I can remember. Thanks, bro. Uh, I wasn't with God at that time. And uh, I can remember her oldest sister and her taking me to the bus station. I was going to live with my sister in Texas because I had nowhere else to go. And so um, after a few months out there, I came back. And um, uh, my life was, it was, it was a mess. I'll leave it at that. So I got in touch with Scott Lundy. And uh, he was like, you, you got to get back in the church, get back with God. And I can remember at the time when I came back, uh, Jasmine, like, well, my kids, the communication with my family, it wasn't there. I mean, I would text all of them, call them, nothing, or barely a little bit. And so, um, you know, I studied and got baptized. Amen. <laughs> and then I just started praying for all of them. I started praying for my mom, my daughters, my son. Like, every single day for like seven months. And uh, one day out of the blue, <laughs> I'm in my bed. I, I, I think I was having my quiet time. And Jasmine calls me. And I said, hey. <laughs> I said, what you doing? And she's like, dad, tell me what to read. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, from the Bible. And I, and I just dropped the phone. I dropped it. Because I saw my prayers. I was like, amen, God. So she came out to church, studied, and got baptized. You know, and hey, we all have our ups and downs, and she's still fighting. I'm still fighting. I know all of you are still fighting. And uh, she's going off now. 
And uh, it's, it feels like uh, uh, I have death. I have a little bit of death. Uh, but part of me is dying because she's leaving. And so the scripture that I chose, actually I had, wait, there was a scripture that was read this morning by, it might have been Lexis, uh, First Timothy, about the being young. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to another one. But this, <laughs> that was a good scripture too. That was an awesome scripture. But this is a scripture that I have for my daughter. In Acts chapter 20, Acts chapter 20, Acts is my favorite book. <laughs> you guys all there? And in verse 22, it says, And now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. But she's going to L.A. <laughs> Not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city that the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me if only I may finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. And the reason I read that scripture is I know that this young lady, I'm so proud of her. I mean, I when uh, the king and the team ministry go out and you know they're out there uh, you know I hear the stories about what the teens go through and I've also worked at a high school and heard what the teens go through and for her to be going out to testify about Jesus I'm just so proud of that in her and I know I'm a miss I know all you guys gonna miss uh, her and uh, thank you guys for letting us get up here and share Well, uh, before we have Jasmine share a few uh, parting thoughts, uh, from your family here in Phoenix, <laughs> uh, we wanted to give you a glass of Phoenix. Uh, to always remember where you came from, that you rose from the ashes and become the, the, the woman that you are. And like your dad said, uh, go preach the word. Okay? So please remember us as you go on your new journey and your new adventure. Let's go, Jasmine. Uh, I wasn't really, I should have known. I, of course I'm going to share, <laughs> but um, I just want to say thank you to every single person here, every single person in the Phoenix Church. I honestly, like, you guys are, like, whenever anyone comes in this room, they feel like they're at home. Like, you're just loved up on, I'm so, I've been loved up on so much. And um, all the sisters, thank you, Telma, and just everyone who's discipled me. Ooh. <laughs> um, Monica, I know you'll be watching this too. Um, Amy, she's not here. Esther, every single person who's just invested their time in me, I'm just so thankful because I wouldn't like have been able to make it without you guys. Like I would have been in darkness by now. So I'm just so grateful. I love you guys so, so much. And uh, I can't wait to see everything on Facebook and everything. You guys do an amazing thing. So, yeah. Wow. All right. What we're going to do now is uh, we're, we're going to pray to send Jasmine out on the mission field. Amen. Uh, so if you're physically able, uh, please let's go ahead and get on our knees. And then I'm going to pray. And then Rob's going to pray. And we're